everyone and welcome back to Mr. M. Fretwell Plays Minecraft and in today's episode I have a number of things that I would like to try and do that are on my agenda now. So following last episode when we made that mine I got a bunch of cobblestone which I would like to turn into some walls here and I would like to try and start and put up a wall around this village give it a little bit more protection. So I'm going to make some cobblestone walls here and where do we want to kind of go with this? I just want to kind of jump straight into it today. This is the first of a number of things that I would like to try and work on. So, it seems good for now. Let's try and go this way. And that there is going to need a little bit of change in. There we go want to try and keep mobs out, mainly zombies really. Um, since last episode I've not done too much. I've only... Um, hmm. I don't know what they're doing down there. I've only worked a little bit on the mine area. I kind of cleared out some space and sort of readied it a little bit more for being able to work in. I also organized all my items. I did some tree harvesting as well and stuff like that. Now this is quite a big village so we're probably not gonna have yeah we're definitely not gonna have anywhere near enough walls right now to completely enclose this village here but it will be a start. So this is where we want the wall to come here. Already into our second stack here. So what I would like to do is try and get enough cobblestone together to completely finish this wall and then put some torches on the inside where then I will be able to keep it well lit and hopefully I won't need to worry about sleeping all the time then so much. So let's see, if we do this I'm going to have to do a little bit of removal there but nothing overly significant. Although I'm actually going to want to have to swing by this now. So that was kind of pointless me doing that, but never mind, I guess. Can recover a few walls here. Don't think we're going to have. Yeah, we're definitely not going to have enough. But we'll be able to see how far we can get and approximately how far we have to go. So I believe I should be able to go to here and then connect these up like so. And I'm going to change that a little bit. So we're down into our last stack now. I think we approximately got about maybe a third of the job done approximately yeah not much more than that but what we can do here is kind of do this and sort of connect this part up I don't want to go too crazy terraforming things until I'm actually ready to start and work on it. So, we are up to here now. There we go. And now, over here. And this is pretty much it for walls. I might be able to make some more. Let me see, one, two, three. So we want our wall to run around here. So we're kind of over by the blacksmith's house here, and we started over there, so we do still have a significant ways to go yet, but I think we're probably nearing halfway somewhere there, quite possibly. Still, as I say though, a decent way to go. So I'm going to sleep really quick here, and then make myself some more walls, and then maybe after that we'll go back mining again. So... There we go. 
I want to save myself some cobblestone. Got ourselves reasonably topped up there. Put that sapling and those seeds away while I'm at it. Oop. Did not mean to fall in here. There's a creeper over there which we're going to have to dispatch along the way. There we go. Alright, so where were we at here with this wall? I think we were over by the blacksmith's joint, so... Did I get the chest out of here? I'll pick it up now. There we go. So... Ah, here we go. So now we need to go to approximately here. I've got to connect these two up. There we go. And now we need to come down here. Man, is this going to be a big wall. Yeah, we're going to run around this sort of area as well. I'm going to... I want to try and keep the villagers in as well, not just keep mobs out if I can, because knowing the villagers, they'll find a way out and then they will not be able to get back in. And that's not pleasant for anyone, so... I'm going to try and avoid that if I can. And I'm also trying to leave at least a three block gap around everything so that we have a little bit of walking room. It's never particularly pleasant. I'm going to fill this in here. There we go. Now, where are we at in relation to everything? One, two, three. So the corner would be there. Just around this cave. Break this one. And now we're approaching where our house is. Our house is right there. See, this is what I was talking about. This villager here is now going to be able to get out until I fully complete the wall here. So I don't necessarily know how I want to do this in relation to my house, because my house kind of sticks out quite significantly. I think I just want to kind of make it meet with my house for now, because this isn't going to be the final wall by any stretch. There will be a lot more improvements and enhancements made. I just want some defenses to kind of begin with. I just want to make things a little bit better around here. Still got a decent amount of room here. And that's it for walls. But we are very, very close to being done. I may be able to scrape together enough out of this cobblestone I have left here. 18, probably not. Because if I carry on this, I've got five left now. Yeah, I'm not going to have quite enough. How many am I going to be short for this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not much. In fact, I could probably get that now, um, just out of this cave. And then we can get that perimeter all figured out. Everything seems kind of busy at the moment. And now out of a pick again. So, gonna need a little bit more than that, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna need to make myself a new pick. I'm actually gonna make a new pair of picks because I always seem to be running out. And I'll put this gunpowder away and that flower and those seeds. 
And now, now I'm gonna get the rest of this. And then once we figured that out, I think I'm gonna put some torches down, make a torch grid. I will do that off camera, however, because it's just more convenient for me to do that. And then when we're back, we might do some caving, something like that. Kind of get that whole cave system figured out properly. But it's nice to finally have that wall done. Uh, makes me feel a lot better about being out and about underground when it's night time and things like that. Now, obviously, I do believe there's still the sieges or whatever, but even if everything's well lit, I can't do anything about that. So hopefully enough villagers survive a siege so that they could repopulate this village. So now what I can do is I can make my remaining walls here. Probably not going to have enough torches either to fully torch grid everything, but it's a start. And this tree... I don't know what I'm going to do with this tree long term. For now it can just stay like that and I think it'll be fine. So, now what I'm going to do, now that we have a fully complete perimeter, is I'm going to put some torches down and I'll be back after that. Okay, so after about half an hour of torching, I think we are pretty much done as far as torches go. Um, there might be a few spots left. I will have to probably build a pillar and observe it on the next night time that I'm up here. But I've pretty much put torches everywhere and I've also done some animal crossing duty and removed all the weeds as well while I was at it. So we have kind of like a blank slate to work from now. And I have very few torches left, so we're going to have to get back underground and get some coal going. But I think we're in good shape as far as the surface is concerned. Now I've made these doors here because I would like to kind of complete some of these houses here that don't have doors. I'm hoping that by doing this I add enough doors to the village as a whole that we might get an iron golem. That would really, really help as far as weeding out any zombies that may spawn in the few spots of darkness. I mean it's not like there's going to be any sort of swarm coming along so if I can put doors on all of these different places here then it might help hopefully. That's the plan at least. So we already have a lot of villagers there's no question in that we're probably only one or two away Although I do believe now you have to trade with them or, or something to breed them, so I'm not totally sure on how all of that works. We're going to have to do some research at some point to figure out exactly the way that these work in relation to breeding and getting iron golems and so on. Now I'm positive that there were a few more of those houses around that uh, didn't have doors on, but I think we might have caught them all actually. I think we may have found them, so that's obviously good. Obviously I caught all of these, so yeah I think we've put doors on everything that we can, so there's going to be a few more homes around. Got plenty of villagers here. You want coal for an emerald? Projectile protection. There's a lot of librarians around I've noticed. Fire protection from him. Look at the sea guy that was in our home the other day. String, arrows, all that sort of stuff. So we're definitely going to want to do some trading with these fellows at some point because they do have some pretty good deals it seems. What are you offering? Look at the C1. I mean there's plenty of them. It seems like every time I come out here there's more of them so I'm not sure if they're breeding on their own or not to be honest. The cleric is doing the rotten flesh now. Respiration book. Like there's like six librarians here, so I'm there's an efficiency one there. So I'm wondering, are they actually just breeding on their own and I'm just not seeing it? That could also be a possibility. So now I got that bread. I'm not really sure what I where I got that bread from. I think that a villager may have dropped it and I've picked it up possibly. So we've got that dirt, some saplings here. I don't really need that bread right now. Some seeds. I don't really need to be carrying around that extra wood. Put those potatoes away. That chest. Those cobble walls. 
Right, so I actually now am completely out of coal. So I'm definitely going to need to get some more coal going. And I also want to smelt up some iron because we need to get back on the achievements game. We still have a number of achievements to get. I never actually made a sword, so I never got Monster Hunter, nor have I made a hoe to bake bread or anything like that. So why don't we do a few of those now? Let's see here. We could definitely make a hoe. There we go. And I'll also go ahead and make a sword. And now I can... I guess I'll put these away. I can bake bread. Get a couple of these achievements on the move. What was the other one? The cake? I don't have any eggs for a cake, nor any reeds, so I'm not going to worry about making a cake right now. Harvest some leather. I don't have any leather just lying around anywhere. Nope. I hear a chicken though, so that's a good sign. We need to kill a monster. We want to smelt up some iron. We want to make a fishing rod as well. And then we need to think about some diamonds. Now we only have diamonds, so if I can get some coal together to smelt up the iron I have collected, then what I should be able to do is just throw one of the diamonds I have at myself. Oh, a baby zombie. That doesn't sound good. They don't burn up in daylight. Then what I should be able to do is get myself the diamonds achievement too. So this is the cave that we had started to explore a little bit last time, but we didn't really... Ow get too far with. It links into a ravine. We know that. This is back to where my chest is. I'm positive there were a few routes that I didn't fully explore because we ran out of time, so I would like to kind of get those cleared out as well. Maybe up here, possibly. But there's lots and lots of iron here. Ah, yes. What is through here? Oh, hello, sir. You must be one of the fellows that was sealed up when I covered this up. You must have been hiding. And he's coming out now, so that's... Oh, dang it. He's come out, but another one's come in. That's the problem here. I want to get him out if I can. Because I don't want him being in the cave there. Well... He's not too valuable, but he is a librarian, so we kind of want to save him if we can. I guess I'll just do that for now, and hopefully he'll depart on his own. And then we'll be able to replace that in due course. Ah, here's a dark cave. I'm amazed that a zombie didn't get him in here. Wow, this is a big cave. Some inks to hex. I guess a squid must have drowned itself around here. It's a very big cave. Oh. I hear a spider. There he is. We've got Monster Hunter and we have a creeper here. There we go. Now I need some coal. This is a different ravine. Because the other one had lava in the bottom of it. So, that's interesting. We have two ravines to explore and conquer, so resources are definitely not going to be a problem, that's for sure. I don't really think I want to explore that ravine right now, so we'll probably come back. I'm going to have some more supplies to deal with that. Now I'm going to probably venture back this way, see if that village is gone, and then maybe check out some other routes. So, this is good. Looks like he has gone, and it's night time now, so we can see if there's any dark spots around. I guess I'll use wood as a pillar. Now, where would be a good spot to pillar up from? Maybe around here by the well? See if there's any dark spots remaining. What about if I jump over onto this tree here? I mean, everything looks pretty good. I don't see... Oh, on top of these houses here. <laughs> I knew I was not going to make that. 
as soon as I left the ground. For some reason my jump didn't activate properly, I couldn't sprint. So let me put this back in place and let's try again. There we go. Want to light up the top of these houses. I believe there's some other ones as well. And have to tear down this wooden pillar. But I think aside from the houses, we're okay as far as dark space goes. So let's get on top of this house next. It's a shame I don't have anything any better than wood to pillar up with, but I don't have a whole lot of supplies right now. So if I light those up, these are a different type. I do believe. Ah, this house here. That wants a torch on it. And I think the library down there is good, so... Everything looks pretty good in here now. I don't see any dark spots left, which is excellent. Means that we did our job properly, and everything's well lit now. Now I do believe I saw an Enderman over here, so we're going to want to try and kill him if we can, if he's still here. Oh, there's a skeleton here. Where did you come from? It's not good. Got a skeleton spawned somewhere. Now these guys are different. They run now, which I find weird. And he did drop an ender pearl. Excellent. Want to try and get a whole group of those together. It's because I'm thinking long term I would like to go to the end at some point because we've not done that yet. And it would be kind of cool to finally check that out. So, I'm going to kill Enderman if I see him. So I don't know where the skeleton came from. Maybe in this house here? Wouldn't make any sense how he got out though. Maybe if a villager opened the door and let him out, possibly? Very strange. But I mean, a skeleton here and a skeleton there, I'm not overly worried about. It's if there's huge spots of darkness that I get a big worry. Because the villagers will probably keep themselves indoors anyway. So it shouldn't be a big deal. But I do want to have enough light out and about that it's not going to be a case of when morning comes around, there's 15 bajillion zombies outside one door type of deal. So that's good for now. Uh, we did seal up that hole where that villager was. There's another Enderman. Let's try and take him on. It's weird, he kind of walked away. <laughs> No ender pearl this time. That's okay. Not too worried about that. See, this is what I'm worried about. See if. Oh, I do hear a baby zombie inside. Oh boy. So there is zombies occurring inside. I don't know where it could be dark enough though. Maybe this is the siege mechanic? I mean, there are an awful lot of zombies around here. This is kind of ridiculous. Good thing I put this wall up. Oh my, this is a, this is a lot of zombies. Cleric's going to be happy with me. I've got a ton of rotten flesh. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that, but I think they should be okay. Oh, is that another Enderman? It is. Come inside this time. There we go. Excellent. Another Ender Pearl. There's a witch over there. I'm gonna go messing around with that right now. So two ender pearls. That's pretty good for not even one night of hunting. I put these arrows away. Those ink sacks that I picked up. Gunpowder there. Leather helmet. I'm starting to get quite a collection of stuff here. 
I went mining for coal, and then all I ended up with was coal for torches. I need to probably sleep, and then... Oh, there's monsters nearby, of course. I would normally get excited about the fact that we have a potato, but we already had them through the village, so... Let's see here. Sleep? Now that I have some arrows, I'm probably going to make a bow as well, really quick. There we go. 